Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to update your BIOS. Now, I have a Windows 7 machine. So this is my motherboard, ASRock P67 Extreme 4 Generation 3. I'll click on Downloads. Now I'll select BIOS Download. <clears throat> This is my first time updating. Now I know I have version 2.1, so I'm gonna download this version 2.2. I'll pick USA. And I already downloaded this. So now I'll close this. And basically here's 2.1, here's 2.2. So now here's the file. <clears throat> I right click it, run as administrator. Okay. So I don't have any other programs running, so I'll click OK. Oops. And here it goes, it's writing the new BIOS. And I am using Windows 7. So as you can see, there's a lot of progress happening. There's already many blocks verified. Let's just zoom in through. System must restart to have the changes take effect. Do you want to restart now? I'll click yes. So that was pretty quick. I'll just enter my uh, BIOS as soon as I can, as soon as I see the splash screen. Okay, and there we go, version 2.2. And prior to this, I was on version 2.1. So, it looks like all my settings are reset, which is uh, something you have to expect after you, um, you know, update your BIOS. I just load standard 4.4 turbo configuration. I'll disable spread spectrum. <clears throat> I'll enable internal PL over voltage. Uh, let's see, I'll try to leave that. Configure my RAM. Okay. This other stuff looks okay. Let me just save that. So you know, after you do that, you um, you have to set up all your options again. And I believe it added an option that I'm trying to look for right now. I don't know where it is. Um, my SATA controller, I'm going to set that to AHCI, okay? I'm also going to disable the Marvel controller, it's actually slower and I'm not using it. Okay. What is this? Uh, rapid start. too many times
now you know after you do um, after you do what I just did which is update your BIOS you will have to go through all your options and just make sure everything is the way you want it to be right now I'm configuring my fan settings and check this out this is the option that I was looking for dehumidifier function now this was not in my other um, version of my BIOS and right now it's disabled and let's see what it says about it when enabling a dehumidifier function the computer will power on automatically to dehumidify the system after entering S4 or S5 state so you know what I'm gonna turn that on That's something cool they just added okay here I don't think I'm gonna mess with that so I'm gonna save my changes And now I'm gonna boot up. So that, that's pretty much all it takes to um, update your BIOS on your ASRock computer or pretty much any newer computer. You could update them in Windows 7, then you reboot, and then I highly recommend you go into your BIOS and you configure everything to your liking. So as you can see, my computer booted up pretty quickly. There's no problems at all. And you know, it might have fixed some stability issues as well. I have to read the notes for this update, but generally when they release a new BIOS, they fix a lot of issues um, that people experienced with the other version of the BIOS. So that's pretty much it. Well, thank you for uh, watching this video by youtube.com slash home edition and please subscribe. You can also show some love by clicking the thumbs up. Take care.